today's gospel, we meet Zacchaeus. There are three things mentioned about Zacchaeus. The first, that he is the chief tax collector. Tax collectors were people who had disliked, despised and rejected by the Jewish society. They were lumped together with the sinners, prostitutes, thieves. They were social outcasts. But added to that, they had to carry the burden of being a traitor for siding with Rome against the Jewish people. Now this tells us probably how the people looked at Zacchaeus. But it gives us no inkling of how God saw him. For that, we have to go to Luke 18, where Jesus presents a beautiful parable, the parable of the Pharisee and the tax collector. The Pharisee comes to Jesus in the parable and he cries out about his own self-righteousness while this tax collector refusing even to lift his eyes towards heaven beats his chest and prays for God's mercy and Jesus declares that the tax collector and not the Pharisee went home justified. While the people saw the Pharisee as righteous, God saw him as a proud man. And where the people saw the tax collector as a sinner, God saw his humility. God indeed can surprise us. Zacchaeus too was an outcast, disliked, an outcast of the society. But he had this great desire to see Jesus. And he waited, longed for Jesus and hoped that Jesus would not pass him by. The second thing about Zacchaeus is that he was a wealthy man. Wealth indeed is a funny thing. It makes some people happy and while it leaves some very, very sad. We meet the rich young man in Luke 18 who came to Jesus looking for eternal life. But when Jesus challenges him to give up his riches and to follow him, this young man went back sad. But God indeed can do strange things. And there is nothing impossible as Jesus declared with God. Zacchaeus uses his, that ill-gotten wealth to inherit that eternal life that the young man missed out on. Without telling, without anyone asking him, he agrees to give four times to the people he had cheated and to share his wealth, half of it, with the poor. He not only entered the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of heaven entered his home. And not only he, his whole household received salvation. Strange indeed are the ways of God. Strange indeed how grace works through cracked people. The third thing and the last thing about Zacchaeus is that he was a man of small stature, a little man. Sandwiched between the story of the parable of the tax collector and the Pharisee and the incident of the rich young man is this little story about little children being scolded by big people. Jesus comes to the rescue of the little children and says to the elders, do not stop them for the kingdom of God belongs to them. And indeed, the kingdom of God goes to those it belongs to. It found the little man, Zacchaeus. It found him perched up in a tree. Incidentally, the name Zacchaeus means pure and innocent. No wonder God found him so attractive. We must not forget the fact that Jesus intended to go to Jerusalem. And Jericho was only a passing away stage. But Jesus stays in Jericho thanks to this little man who desired, who wanted, who yearned and longed for Jesus. Desire is a big thing in God's eyes. Something very interesting here. There is a Zacchaeus amongst us. There is definitely Zacchaeus in our dioceses, amongst our clergy, amongst our people who are hidden away, wearing the mask of self-sufficiency, sometimes hiding behind 
a little short temper or an anger disliked by people. The gospel today calls us, challenges us to find them, to look for them, call them by name, to find our place into their lives, go into their dwelling, spend time with them, listen to them, and in listening, welcome them into that kingdom to which they also belong. For they too are not only the children of Abraham, but the sons and daughters of God. May God give us the grace this morning to receive this Jesus who always surprises us. God bless you and have a great day.